She came here also. She arrived yesterday. And they have a lot of problems with her, amongst other, to just uh, lead her in a lead rope from the ground. My horse is a problem yeah. horse, and she uh, threatened me when I is with her. When I walk with her, she just run away. She, I can't hold her. If I if she wanna go, she just run me down. She's don't care. Hi, baby. She's just out of control, as we can say it like that. Have you ever had a horse with, with, with problem like you couldn't solve it? No, never. She's my first horse, like that. <laughs> so, I have four other horses and they're not like her. Listen, if you stand still, I can take you closer. Ah! Whoa! Easy. It's very clear that she has a pattern of just taking over the control and that she knows she's stronger and just, she can't, she knows that she just can take the lead rope and run and that we can't hold her. Yeah, that's a shame. I got her when about a year ago and she, have to be my show jumper horse. I would use her to competition and ride her a lot of competition. <laughs> uh, but when she's like that, I can't do it. She's too dangerous to take with me. So. I will try to as fast as possible to get her as calm as possible. And we'll see. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. She's making a little head shakings. And always when horses are shaking their head, it's always their way of telling us that they are the one who's been dominating. So she's telling me I am a leader horse out in my old own herd because I'm shaking my head. <clears throat> yeah. She's lifting her tail also and she's running with her head lifted up high. It's her way of telling me that her status, status in the flock is she's a leader mare. The leader horses are always the hardest one to get to accept a human being as a leader. But um, but they will all do it eventually. Good girl. Oh. Oh, Joe Turkey. Whoa. Good girl. Good girl. Already she's understanding and already she's licking and chewing. It's very good. Come on, baby. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Come on. Oh, that was a good girl. You see, this horse, she is so strong. I would never, ever have a chance to hold her using my physical muscles. But if I can get her to choose to follow me, then I can hold her in any given situation. And she is doing that now. It's already, yeah. It's a big decision because she's a very strong mare, no doubt. That's right, stand and back up, and back up. Good girl, ah, ah. See, the minute I ask her to back up, she's choosing to leave me. And that's because she really don't have the respect for people that she should. She needs a little bit more time in this corner to think about the whole thing. 
she has never found out where she is compared to people in the hierarchy. She's always trying to take lead and she's always in a physical fight with the people that own her. And that's a shame. So we have to help her a little bit. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Such a good girl. And stand. Good. Just stand. Yeah. Whenever a horse does something that I don't want it to do, I will back it up. That is my consequence in any given situation, no matter if I'm riding a horse or if I'm working with it from the ground. And I do that because this makes sense for the horse, they understand this. Horses in nature never walk around walking backwards. They only back up when they move for a more dominant, dominant horse. So in nature, the one horse that makes the other horse walk backwards is the one in charge. So by me asking a horse to walk backwards a few steps makes the horse, if I, if I get the horse to do it, makes the horse see that I'm the leader horse. So they understand it immediately. Come on, back it up. And she refuses. And of course, the, the horses that are in control in their natural life don't want to back up for anybody. They're the ones making other horses back up. Good girl. That's right. Come on, let's walk. Let's walk. Good girl. Let's walk. <coughs> yeah, now she's beginning to give me a little Good girl, submissive. Yeah, yeah. Now I will try to see how is her trust. What's her story? You can touch your eyes. You can touch your ears. Your ears are very good. Which means she has a very good trust. The people, yeah. nose, and let me see the mouth. So this horse hasn't been hit by people because her ears are very good. So she's not afraid because I can touch her ears, so she just don't want to listen to me. She don't want to respect when I'm telling her to stand. Good girl. Ah. She just don't want to respect me. She knows what I'm asking for, and she's not giving it to me, so now I'm just going to leave her for a little bit longer. Make her think about it. I can't force this horse to do anything but I have to make her to choose to cooperate. She's so strong and she knows it. This thinking process here is all about letting go of the past. Forgetting it and understanding it's a whole new start. It's a whole new way of seeing the people that handle her. She has to begin to meet people with respect now. Good girl. And people have to Stop fighting with her, forcing her to do things because she's able to choose it. And when she does that, things become easy. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Come on, baby. Good girl. That's right. Good girl. Good. Whoa! So this is the second day I work with this mare, and um, and she has so much experiences with just breaking through. She has to be trained in having some respect for me as a person to just stay with me. 
because everything in her mind is telling her right now to, to just take the leadership away from people and just take over the control and just breaking through and running away. But she remembers my training. Easy girl, easy. But it has been going very fast. I mean, she's only been trained for one day, except for right now. So she's testing my leadership. Can it really be true that humans are more strong than a horse, she thinks, because she has a whole life experience of being the stronger one. And that's the pattern we have to break to get her to become an easy horse. Yeah. Stand. Good girl. She remembers. It's very nice. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. And stand. And that was good. Mm. That was good. And we walked. Good girl. Stand. And I will back you up. See, most people, if we see a nervous reaction with our horses, then we will tell them, oh, it's okay, you want to go look at this thing, and we will, we will, um, we will be very gentle and soft about it and feel, actually feel sorry for them. But horses, they need leadership in order to not be scared. So if our horses get scared, the best thing we can absolutely do for them is to just back them up, tell them, it's not your job to be scared, it's my job to protect you. So if there's anything to be scared about, I will protect you. And you just have to look at me. So if you have a nervous reaction, back it up and follow me. That will make our horses feel safe. <coughs> In nature, horses are never frightened. If something frightens the horses, then they will all look up at the leader horse and only when the leader horse begins to run or flee, then all the horses will. And that's the exact same thing I want with any horse I'm training. I want the horses, if something scares them, to look up at me. And if I'm not nervous, then they have to stay calm. Come. And especially this strong mare, I need for her to definitely not be afraid. Because it's not her natural behavior, it's only something that she does to dominate people. Good girl. If she jumps, bucks, or rears up right now, then it's okay, then that's her right, because I'm asking her a question, and she's free to answer the way she wants. I don't want her to rear up a buck. I want her to stand still and to accept it. But she is free when I'm training her, so she has the right to walk away and go to her corner. And back up for me. Good girl. Yeah, it's right. It's okay. Come on, try it again. Good girl. She has the right to say no. And I want to give her that right. Because the, the second she agrees to do this, then I know it's for real. Then I know I can trust her. And then I know that she is okay with being ridden. And I don't want to ride a horse that hasn't chosen or accepted a rider. I would rather have a horse that is calm and has completely accepted, still saying no. I'll leave her for a while. Stand. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Easy. Easy. 
Easy, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. She's okay with me being up here, but she's not listening and I can't stop her. Which also again tells me that in riding with people on her back, she will take the control in riding as well. She has learned that she's stronger than people are. Ow, oh, good girl, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, can't stop her, can't stop her. Can't stop her, she's a machine and I can't stop her. I never use a bit because I feel like it's too big of a compromise. Really, I feel it's an illusion because if you can't control your horse, then a bit is not going to help you anyways. A bit is going to create pain in the horse's mouth in case it doesn't listen and you are in need of really using it. But, but it's not going to help you in real danger. The horse will just take over and run anyway through the pain. But if you get the horse to choose to listen to you, then you can control them in anything. And because there's no bit in this bridle, then I feel like I can communicate in a much better way with the horse. I can make a simple question like this, please stop for me. If she doesn't, I can do it a little harder, please stop. And if she really doesn't, then I will have to train her and say, hey, I mean stop. But still, even though I'm a little harsh right now, then she won't feel she will feel like a little shock reaction, but I can't break anything. And a lot of horses think, especially if they have, they have this pattern of being so strong as this girl, then, then she has felt the pain of the bit many times. Good girl. I can steer her, but I can't seem to stop her. And I feel like Every time I put a pressure, just a little question to stop her, then she begins to move faster. And now she stops, so that was good. See, now she's testing my leadership from the back a little bit. Ah! Back it up. Good girl, good girl. So I'm telling her the same deal goes from her back. I am not going to hit her, scream at her, or do anything else, but the thing I've told her from the ground. I'm gonna back her up two steps, just like I did from the ground. And I don't want to ride her with a lot of pressure, so I'm letting her go loose. She can't even feel I'm touching her right now. And only when I want to communicate something to her, then I will give her a signal. And as you can see, she will begin to lick and chew even when I'm riding her, just like she did from the ground. She will talk back to me. She will give me her acceptance. And whoa, stand. Stand, good girl, good girl, good girl. Need to be able to be alive on your back. Good girl. Such a good girl. I will advise the owners of this horse to let this horse stay here for a little longer because I can see she understands the training. But there is a bit of a... There's still a bit more work to do before this horse is completely done. But she has moved a long way. If you think about this is her second day in training, I mean, then I can't ask for any more than what she's giving me. Good girl. Good girl. Handstand. Good. Good girl. It is a little bit too small for her <laughs> in here. Come on. Just trot carefully and don't fall. 
Good girl, easy over here. <laughs> it is amazing that she been like that. There's a totally different horse. She looks much more happy when I look at her. I can see it in her eyes. See, I don't think this horse has ever made a choice by herself in her life before. No. I don't think that her earlier riding experiences has been good at all. I always think she has a, a bad uh, beginning. Yeah, yeah, a bad beginning. Yeah, I think so too. Riding hasn't been fun, and if, if she could make a choice, then she would rather not be a riding horse at all. Yeah. Yeah. So we have to change that. Yeah. And we have to change that by having her making a decision that she really wants it yeah. again. Yeah. All over, whole new start. Yeah. Now it's your turn. Okay. Come in here. Believe that she will follow you. Okay. Super. Try it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And this hand is the hand that you're leading her by. Just imagine you have an invisible an invisible lead rope hanging here. Okay. okay? So you will walk that way. Yep. Very good. You're very good at using your body language. Very good. I don't feel, feel like she's dangerous to me anymore. No. No. That's very important. Mm -hmm. That's a very good achievement to feel that she's not dangerous for you anymore. Yes. Yeah. And now I want to see a little trot. Just run with your body until she starts to follow your body language. Try it. Ask her and tell her, trot. Good girl. Use a lot of praise because that makes it easier. Then she says, oh, that was hard. Just go get her again. It was just, it was just a hard thing to do. And try it again. Slowly trot. Good girl. That's right. Talk to her all the time. Good girl. Yeah, come on. Yeah, good girl. Talk to her around the corner. Good girl. That's right. Exactly. And stop. And tell me, how does it feel? Great. <laughs> do you understand it, what's happening? Yes. Yeah. What do you think about riding this horse without a bit on? I think you need to move your chair. Oh, you can do it. Great. Okay. 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 No, and you can't either because she's a jumping horse and you need the bit in the sport, right? Yeah. Yeah. What do you feel? Do you feel like she is relaxed? Yeah, a lot. A lot. Yeah. It's a much more uh, relaxed horse. Yeah. And that's very useful for me. How was it for you to ride her without a bit in? No, it's what it was. It was uh, different because when I ride her at home, I should hold her like this. Yeah whole time because then if I not do it she just run away. Yeah. And that's not I And today you could let go of your reins and let your horse relax. Yeah and she just walk with me and not and go. She listens to you. Yeah.